Thank you. My name is Mizuki Ono, and I'm an exchange student from Nara, Japan. I wonder if I were selected to speak with you today because I know how to pronounce Pichakcha. <laughs> today, I will tell you about my story in Montana. I have lived in Japan for over 20 years with my parents, a younger brother, and two dogs. When I was a child, I was really an adventurous boy, as you can tell by the chicken on my head. <laughs> I explored various places almost every day to find something interesting instead of studying. <laughs> now, Montana has many differences from Japan. I felt a lot of differences in terms of culture, values, and personal identities. Especially, I felt food, a difference of food culture. I like sweets like cookies, cakes, and so on. So one of my friends recommended me to try Twinkie. <laughs> I, I've never heard Twinkie, so I didn't know what Twinkie was. So, <laughs> so the friend always said to me, just try it with wonderful smile. I had no idea why he was smiling. But after I ate it, I understood why he smiled. That was super sweet. <laughs> Japan has no such super sweet confections. Japanese style confections are really beautiful. They look just like an art. Including some differences, I experienced a lot of things here. Of course, I experienced challenging matters. Now it's time to tell you about my story in Montana. On August 16, 2013, I came here in order to improve my English skill, to feel differences, and most importantly, to do what I cannot do in Japan. Montana has a lot of beautiful nature, and Montana is a very safe place, so I chose Montana State University as my host university. Before I came here, I was really happy because I think if I go to the US, I was able to speak English with people. However, when I first went to a hamburger shop in Montana, I realized that was just an illusion. At the time, <laughs> I didn't know how to order a hamburger. So a waiter asked me, how can I help you? I said, I am hamburger. <laughs> and, and the waiter said, huh? I could say nothing. I was really embarrassed, but unfortunately, I didn't know how to order. So the only thing that I could do was to say, I am hamburger. <laughs> I, I lost my confidence in my English ability, but I wanted to communicate with the people to make a lot of friends. So I thought deeply how I can solve the problem. One day, I remembered that I had a wonderful t-shirt. So I decided to wear the t-shirt and walk out on the campus with me. Please pay attention to the message on the t-shirt. It says, just accept me without a word. What a wonderful t-shirt it is. Actually, people accepted me because I found people here are really kind. But unfortunately, my English was not accepted. <laughs> Obviously, in order to communicate with people, it is not important to change my t-shirt. I had to change my mind in terms of being active, taking action to modify that situation. So, a month after my arrival here, I started a really challenging project. One of the most confusing grammatical contents for me is auxiliary verbs like can, may, and so on. I am really interested in how native speakers use them. So, I decided to conduct the survey about auxiliary verbs. The sample size was 1,000 people. The reason why I tried to conduct this survey was, of course, to challenge myself and to try to write a thesis based on the research. I'm sure I could not conduct such a big survey in Japan, simply because there are apparently less than 1,000 American students in my home university. Surprisingly, when I asked the American students to answer the question of the survey, about half of them asked me, oh, sorry, what is auxiliary verb? <laughs> I, I was very surprised why the Americans don't know auxiliary verb. <laughs> including, including such a surprising question, when I conducted the survey, I realized that I could talk with a lot of people. Some of them said to me, you are so nice, good luck. I was really happy and that made me go forward. 
So finally, I completed the survey with 1,000 people. Who could imagine I completed that difficult task? Maybe nobody, because I'm not extrovert. But I learned the power of taking action and positive thinking. I learned a, I learned a lot of important things here, especially how important it is to take action. It is true that a trial will cause a risk, but if you are afraid of risk, we cannot make a difference. To stay in the present situation, or in other words, if we remain stable, we have no innovation, no new discoveries in the future. It is important to challenge ourselves. Remember, only seven months ago, I said, <laughs> I am a hamburger. I think nobody, including me, would have imagined that I would be standing here and make a presentation in front of so many people today. We can change ourselves if we are willing to take action. These are my friends supporting and helping me a lot. I'm not alone. And of course, you are not alone. Everybody has a chance what they want to. It doesn't matter whether the challenge is small or big. The most important thing is to try. Here I have a quote by the famous Napoleon Bonaparte. He said, circumstances. What are circumstances? I make circumstances. By taking action and being positive, we can all make a difference. Thank you very much.